All right, so we're finally off of the Supreme hiatus. We're coming back with the Spring Summer 2021 collection. This is the full preview. This is everything that will be dropping this season, minus a couple surprise items, as well as all collaboration pieces or the majority of collaboration pieces. Usually we get to see a couple of them, like <clears throat> right here you can see the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle poking out right there. So we're gonna be going over everything. This is a absolutely huge range or lookbook or I guess not lookbook but just preview as they call it I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so you guys can get a little bit better of a view at the items and I looked at this once earlier so <clears throat> a lot of this will be kind of my first impressions of the pieces and yeah we're gonna cover it all so I suppose let's hop into it starting off we have these paisley kind of uh, faux fur bomber jackets I guess they're calling it the bandana also but have these paisley prints on it and other than the back I don't really care for this too much I don't know if I want to spend time on every single item maybe we'll at least get like a close-up of at least one colorway for each of the items this is so all right, right here we have a velvet ma1 bomber which I like the silhouette I like the velvet this colorway looks nice but I'm not feeling these designs that they got going on. Looks like artwork by Clayton Patterson, which I'm not familiar of his artwork, but we will see this on a couple more pieces. The back is kind of cool. I almost get this like tribal feeling, but yeah, with the dragons and stuff, it just looks a little tacky for me. And then moving forward, we have some honestly pretty basic Harrington jackets, just suede. And then you get the tiny little box logo on the chest. And then next up, uh, we can skip out of this. We have the first of the Vanison leather pieces. Looks like they're going with uh, Vanson leathers or Vanson, my bad. Vanson leathers Cordura jacket, and I really like this one. I like the Marlboro color blocking that they got going on, like the cigarettes. Uh, looks very similar to that. And you got the red top, white bottom, obviously. A lot of Supreme branding, a lot of Vanson branding. Uh, I wish they would have included maybe a little bit more color blocking or something other than just the same patch and same logo everywhere, but I, st I still like it. I like the back, how they swap it up a little bit. This racing font looks cool, especially the A. almost looks like a J, but I like it. I'm also a fan of this colorway, kind of uh, the like menthol looking colorway <laughs> that a lot of cigarette cartons use i think and then we got black on black which is my least favorite but i think it's cool these these jackets are pretty dope the vanson jackets are always dumb expensive so this one will be up there as well and then we also have the spiderweb vests which i know what you're thinking spiderweb that's just a little athletic baseball looking logo or spell out swap it over on the back and we get this big spiderweb design looking like spider-man with the blue and red I've never been into the spiderweb designs, so this is a pass for me, but I could see some dude rocking this on a Harley. Big beard blown in the wind, looking good. So, uh, gonna be expensive, being the Vance in pieces. We also have these, uh, Bullock's Varsity Jacket, which, pretty basic. We got some, uh, we have a, quite a few of these Chanel patch designs going on. There's actually a lot of interesting stuff they do with patches and then also applique applique patches i don't know em like embroidery and stuff they got a lot of interesting things like that going on we'll see some more of these patches a little bit later probably the same spell out but overall the jacket's a pass for me it's all bullocks though kind of funny and then moving forward we have the <clears throat> f down jacket uh, you just got this big expletive spell up in the smoke kind of reminds me of they had a design not too long ago, maybe last spring, summer probably, where there were people kissing, I wanna say, or maybe it was just like one person's face and then a cigarette and the smoke spelt like Supreme or something like that. So that reminded me of this. And then we also have the same jacket, but completely different pattern, which I appreciate. Um, we got this one right here. Looks like some Nikes there, which is kind of interesting to toss in on a Supreme piece. This is the firecracker jacket. You got some firecrackers up there. A bunch of just like random stuff going on. It's kind of hard to tell what exactly everything is, but I don't know. This, this one's a pass for me, but I do appreciate that they're at least like throwing completely different all over patterns instead of just 
maybe a slightly different colorway. I thought that was kind of cool. Moving forward, we have the camo M65 jacket. I do not, I do not like this. I do not care for this. Basically, what it is is just a bunch of tiny box logos making up like a digital camo almost. And we have this coming in a couple different colorways. That hood also looks atrocious. But yeah, these camos are yeah big pass for me. This this like blue one almost looks like a bunch of eye messages being sent. I, I don't care for that at all. Moving forward. <clears throat> We have the Gore-Tex stickers shell jacket. Shell jacket, kind of a cool uh, silhouette. Gore-Tex is going to be nice. I just don't know if I care about how all this stuff meshes up. Maybe a little bit too loud for me, but I definitely see a lot of logos that I recognize. The 666 stuff. We got the Supreme like Bounty, I think that's a play on. We got the Chicken Dinner, the uh, Chrome one. So I, I recognize a lot of these. I know. A lot of the other ones are probably pretty old, like takes on uh, designs that they've done before. It looks like a, a mashup though, a little collage. Kind of reminds me of the FTP stuff that they did not too long ago for their 10 year anniversary, but this one is a lot more orderly, whereas the FTP was kind of like all over, just thrown together. But not a bad piece. I like how it's uh, got all this like removable stuff. I always kind of think that's cool. We got this. Uh, or I guess it's just the hood. I thought almost there might have been like a mask or something there. And you got the pants that go with it. But we'll get into the pants and everything else later. Pretty basic leather jacket here. Um, leather work jacket they're saying. This almost looks more like a motorcycle jacket. Maybe just the collar a is a little bit different. But the pockets are very like aggressive. Not, don't give me the vibe of a work jacket. We have this fat old English varsity spello jacket. I guess it's twill for the material. And this just kind of looks cheap, <laughs> kind of looks tacky to me. I don't know, it, it's a pass. And then what else we got? Stained glass design. We got the St. Michael fleece jacket. And I don't know, I've never been a fan of the fleece like all over print patterns just because yeah, you can get like kind of detailed with this, but the fleece doesn't allow for the greatest detailing um, to be visible just because of the nature of the material, but it's not a bad piece. I, I guess I've also never really been into fleece myself, like this type of fleece, this really thick stuff, so pass for me, but I don't know. I, I guess it might look cool if they put that on some jeans or something. Uh, next up, we have a Polar Tech lined sideline parka, which kind of got excited about this one because i'm a big big fan of parkas i also really like this lining that they use they use it on some of their track jackets and i got excited i was like oh maybe this will be cheap because it does look like a fairly thin piece something that's like easy to produce uh but as far as the design goes you know i think they've done this before on like t-shirts just supreme uh new york <clears throat> they also have this plaid one which i don't care for I guess maybe a little bit better than the green and then an all over or a black one i just guess uh not all over or anything i guess it is all over black but no pattern next up we have the Mich uh, mitchell and ness satin varsity jacket which i think they've had some mitchell and ness stuff before this is kind of the initial lookbook teaser image i saw i think we saw it says love all trust few do wrong to no one I don't know. I see a lot of people complaining about when they put like years on pieces, like 2021. I don't know if 2021 is a year you want to be commemorating, like uh, 2020 also, you know, may maybe we just forget about those, maybe just put the year that Supreme was founded, like, uh, was it 96 or something like that, I forget, no, 94 I think, I don't know, uh, but yeah, pass for me on those, moving forward, <laughs> we have this eagle hooded work jacket, which I like their work jacket silhouette, They've done some good designs on it before, but all right, you can you can get these all over like eagle print designs, and some of them look cool, like some of the vintage tees that you see with the huge eagle prints, like lightning. But I don't know, just the execution on this one almost looks like meme worthy. I think, like in my eyes, it's it's not very great. Um, yeah, yeah, just not feeling it, guys. I'm not crazy about it, so. Moving forward, we get some absolutely hideous patchwork uh, denim vests. We'll see this on some pants later too. People might be crazy about this. I get this. I guess this uh, whatever colorway they're calling this kind of this like tan colorway is a little bit better, but 
not feeling either of those other two. Uh, we have this Gore-Tex jacket, pack light shell jacket, which really reminds me of a Gore-Tex jacket that Palace did. They had this kind of diagonal zipper, and then, I mean, it was probably the same Gore-Tex silhouette if, if this is just like a plain Gore-Tex one that they do commonly, but yeah, as far as the branding goes on this, I think it's pretty good. You got this vertical spell out on the back, you got a little horizontal, uh, and then also a little back pouch, and then... I think that's pretty much it. This maroon looks nice. I like this color. Uh, not not feeling this green. Maybe too wild. Black's nice. Very subtle. I do like kind of the shiny finish that they have on the zipper as well as the branding. It's a, it's a nice touch. Ties it together well and uh, pretty subtle. We have these jackets and I, I think there's just too much going on for me. Looks like an X-Men jacket. Might have been cool to get like a navy one in yellow, I guess. Um, and then the black on black maybe make the crosses white or something but yeah i don't know this not really working a minty colorway too uh we have some more parkas this time we got the hooded face mask parka a lot of brands have been doing this lately we have the built-in face mask which you know makes sense with how things are going lately pain and uh pandemic and whatnot it's all right nothing too bad you got like a pin on the chest it looks like uh did we have oh yeah we got this big i think that's embossed branding let's see do they have any any details i don't think it says any details interior draw cord made yeah i don't see anything i might be missing it but i, I like the branding this is cool the purple one that they got going on interesting that they only have the two different colorways might have been cool to see it in like a black or a red as well something basic uh, you know, I've never been a fan of these like Chinese dragons or whatever style dragons. So all those big pass for me. <laughs> uh, we have this frayed logos denim trucker jacket, which I think is interesting. We also have it coming on some pants, of course. And we've seen them do this like frayed all over print before. It was kind of like a diamond studded print that we saw it last time, I want to say. And there was a big arc supreme spell out on the back. And I think the jacket works all right, but the pants, I don't know if I'm feeling the pants. Uh, got this black one, or black on red as well. I think a red on red would have looked cool. Keep it subtle. And black on black looks good. Not, not bad pieces. Kind of some cool denim jackets, but, you know, a lot of branding for sure. Uh, we have this barn coat, which... I don't, know, I don't know if I'm a fan of the tiger print or whatever they want to call this colorway, but I do like the collar. You got like the corduroy collar and I, I'm a fan of their chore coat silhouettes. We also have it coming in this lavender, which I don't know. And then the black on black would have been cool to see like a woodland one, or I think last season they did a like floral camo, which I think was a little bit better. Not feeling this tech work jacket at all. Uh, I don't like that branding. I don't like the quilted aspect nature of the flipped side either. The suits, I'm, I'm not even going to talk about these. Suits are pointless. Um, there's like no Supreme branding on it. So why are you buying it? And the fit's going to be all strange and it's going to be dumb expensive. So I don't know. The Iggy Pop puffy jacket. Iggy Pop. Shout out Iggy Pop on the back. Um, it's a puffer, so it's a skip for me. <laughs> And then as far as the design goes, you know, it's just a square image that they put on the back. So I don't know. Uh, this is kind of something more along the lines of what I would have liked to see on the jacket we looked at with the corduroy collar. I think this is this is nice. The peacock jacket. I don't know if I could get down with that green, though. I don't know if that's my style, but I do like this piece. I, I really like this pattern, but I think they really missed out on this next colorway. They have the black one where it's just kind of like maybe a little sepia but very desaturated i think if they put the black on maybe just swapped up like some of the colors for the flowers or something it would have popped really well but i think they missed out on that then moving forward we have some more track jackets which have that lining the five burrows coach's jacket i guess they're calling it let's see what we got going on in the back oh all right so they have the names of the burrows on the bottom I don't know, you guys might miss that. It is very subtle. Doesn't really matter. Moving forward, we have the leather overcoat. This is gross. I don't know if you're trying to look at Donnie Brasco or something. Uh, moving forward, the mesh pocket cargo jacket. I could care less about this. You know, it's got some subtle Supreme branding. You got some 
big ass pockets on the chest like it is what it is uh, the first time I saw this I was like okay it just says sup on the sleeve but if you get the full tracksuit the pants also have like the continuation of it so um, <laughs> I don't know hopefully if you go for this especially if they're dropping separate weeks you get both of them but uh, they're they're all right yeah these are the bottoms so with the way the jacket overlays it kind of connects to, uh, to spell supreme if you're getting the right fit on it I suppose then moving forward the floral tapestry anorak I think the colorways kind of ruined this one they could have gone with some better ones uh, let's see another basic anorak it looks like reflective zip up hooded jacket actually so not anorak zip up jacket you got the taping on the back we've seen supreme do this a lot I don't really, I don't really, uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't see a situation where you're like, yeah, let me just unzip the back right here. And it, it seems like it would just create a strange feeling for the material. Like it wouldn't be that comfortable with like that zipped open. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. You know, I'm sure it works, but pass for me. Uh, we also have this cans shirt, a bunch of cans. <laughs> you got like Coca-Cola, um, Sprite. Let's see, I think this is supposed to be like some type of beer. I'm blanking on what it looks like. Ginger ale maybe down here, I don't know. But yeah, bunch of cans. Next up, we have this Frick Off Jamie Reed shirt, just upside down. Oh no, it says all, not off. So I guess you look down at yourself and it's supposed to say that, I don't know. Moving forward, the flannels, which are ass this season, I think skipping that i wasn't a fan of any of the colorways we have this all over jacquard logo denim shirt pass i think they've done a lot better all over print denim shirts before we got some more of those clayton peterson skulls they are embroidered i like the silhouette but once again not really feeling the skulls got some more flannels the tartan shirt uh, man I, I feel like they've done that colorway before that plaid pattern before striped Og oxford shirt uh, let's see what else we got. The Blessings Ripstop shirt. A lot of detailing going on on it. I do kind of like this blue colorway. Interesting that they don't even show the front though. Oh, there's the front. All right. Kind of looking like a BDU. Not a bad piece. This blue one is all right. Uh, let's see. We have this like washed shirt. Washed corduroy shirt. Not bad. Let's see. No branding it looks like other than the tiny little Supreme tab. But I do like the washed corduroy look. Especially that black and then the brown. Not, not really feeling the olive. Purples are it. I don't know. I gotta, I gotta start trying to wear some purple. Swap it up a little bit. They've been doing a lot of purple stuff this season, as you'll see later. Muhammad Ali zip-up shirt. I don't know if I've ever really been into the zip-up short sleeve stuff. We also have the Liberty lace shirt, which <laughs> I don't like these like alternating gradients. It, that looks ugly. That looks very bad. Big skip. We also have these beetles on a rayon. Uh, pass for me uh, Dash's wall rayon short sleeve shirt got a bunch of kind of like news clippings mostly not a bad not a bad shirt this face down here is kind of cool uh, let's see we got the same pattern we saw before I'm sure we'll get yep the firecracker shirt as well so it looks like we got all those dropping as rayons then let's see we got a work shirt right here I think this yep the Iggy pop stuff or just short sleeve shirt Looks like it might, uh, nah, not a work material. Almost looks work with that style though. We got the Scorpion Jacquard shirt, tacky. <laughs> uh, the Dancing Rayon shirt, not a fan of this art style. And then comes in a bunch of different colorways though. I, I'm sure people will rock it. Like this blue one almost reminds me of like some Prada button ups or rayons if you want to get uh, into it. Logo rib short sleeved work shirt. Pass for me. Uh, 190 Bowery Rayon, kind of a cool building. I like the stand, the, how much the yellow stands out from the taxi, but yeah, I don't know. Pass for me, especially those red colorways, kind of disgusting. Let's see, what else do we have? Uh, we got this <laughs> gross lightweight plaid one. Uh, another just like plain ass button up. We got some embroidery on the back. The world is yours, Supreme. We also have this dog short sleeve shirt. It says, I, I hate losing, and he's holding a little pistol. And I got Supreme, and I like this one. I, I like this piece. This orange colorway is cool. Kind of looking like a, a jump uh, jumpsuit. And then it's one of their work shirts. So you got the little Supreme work shirt tag on the front. I think that one's kind of cool. 
Uh, let's see, the gingham short sleeve shirt. I mean, you can buy the identical shirt from like Kohl's, bro. Bandana silk short sleeve shirt. Be super comfortable. Got coming in a plethora of colorways as well. Let's see, we got these signs, street signs. Don't mean anything to me. Dr. Martin Luther King, Grand, Bowery. I'm guessing just a bunch of New York streets. So all you New York boys can grab that. I don't like, I don't like this. Uh, too loud for a cardigan, maybe. I don't like zip cardigans either. I'm usually more of a fan of the kind of like the drapey ones. And then we have more of these Chanel appliques, like I was saying before. I don't think we have anything on the back. Like the other one said, yeah, the other one said like <clears throat> it's all bollocks or something. We have the Shea uh, hooded zip up sweater. We'll see some more portraits of him uh, on some other pieces as well, I think. A bunch of different colorways for this. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. They do a lot of kind of like memorial pieces or whatever. Got the Muhammad Ali, got uh, like MLK pieces that they've done recently. Uh, this vest is gross. These colorways are absolute trash. Let's see what else we got. This sweater, bunch of <laughs> bunch of S's all over. I don't know if they're going for like a Gucci look or something, but that's a pass for me. I do not care for that. <laughs> this this is kind of funny, but also I don't know, kind of cool. I like this more than the other eagle stuff that they did. Too too American for me. And then this <laughs> this colorway is absolutely ridiculous. This green one. Um, let's see what else we got more cardigans. I like these ones more than the last ones This is like I said kind of like a style of cardigan that I like a lot more rather than the zip up one that we saw before Colorways, I don't know this pink colorway works. I, I like that pink colorway not really digging the brown and then the black with the regular checkerboard obviously uh, Let's see what else we got The I think these are is this kind of like the patchwork stuff looks like it's just checkerboard sweater Not feeling it uh, we got another um, a biggie short sleeve top, big picture of Lil Biggie, and then we got the reconstructed short sleeve top, which it's all right, it's all right. I like the like old school washed look of it. Maybe reminds me of like some Tommy stuff, but only that center colorway. All the other ones are trash. Uh, super famous since 1994, so I was right with 94. Uh, not really feeling a lot of those colorways. <laughs> this is absolutely disgusting. The soccer top with the beetle, just gross. Um, mosaic patchwork, not like this. The black one was alright, I guess. Old English rhinestone short sleeve, so for all you rhinestone fans out there. Never really gotten into rhinestone stuff. Another Shea design. Uh, football top. Uh, let's see what else we got. The half tone. Not. Yeah, I don't know. I guess I don't like how it's kind of like pixelated or you got the like grid visible on that. That black colorway was cool though. Uh, we, all, we have the floral applique short sleeve top, all cotton jersey. Uh, it's all right. I'd kind of rather see something like this done on a hoodie than a short sleeve shirt though. The, the like patches like that. The barang patch short sleeve top, not feeling it. We got a blurred arc short sleeve top, which they've done the motion logo before. I don't know if I'm, yeah, I don't know if I can support this kind of uh, blur though. I, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> kind of hurts to look at, man. We have any glasses. The world famous short sleeve top, very, very small branding. Um, I guess it says something about being world famous. Uh, Supreme Bowery location, I don't like this. I'm not a fan of the striped shirt. You can even see the stripes behind the print too. I don't like that. Let's see what else we got. Signature label, kind of kind of boring. Maybe the white or the black might look good. Uh, I don't care for this, kind of like repeated and cut logos. This is just normal, small box long sleeve tee, uh, just a pocket tee. And then we can move on to some more stuff. Let's see, where did we leave off? Looks like we left off here. <laughs> a zip polo, trash, trash in my opinion. Uh, velour polo. I like velour as a material, but not on that. I don't really like this split pullover. Maybe the white and red's all right. Black kind of works because I, I guess I just didn't like the split. Not a fan of polos, so skips. Uh, more velour. Not not a fan. Not a fan of that spell out either. Uh, dyed bear long sleeve. Yeah, I don't know. The tie dye is kind of interesting, but just literally the same bear printed everywhere.
Not feeling any of this stuff. This is all skips for me. Uh, even these, the tees, not feeling that. This, I like this. This is one of the ones I like. The printed stripe short sleeve top. It's kind of interesting with the sleeves, how the sleeves are also a part of the same horizontal stripes. Usually a lot of striped tees will kind of start off on the shirt and have their stuff keep going, but I like that. I also like how this uh, Supreme Spello is a part of, or is done in the same color as the stripes. I really specifically like this red and white one and the black and white one. Uh, I dig those a lot. Probably gonna have to go for that red and white one. Uh, the neck branding, I do like the neck branding. What other colorways we got? That's all right, this black one, this black one's pretty good actually. Uh, all cotton jersey. I like that. I'm, I'm a fan of the collar branding. You don't see that done a whole lot, so been waiting for a cool supreme collar branded shirt so maybe i'll have to pick that up the kim necklace which i'm not sure what this is referencing but i'm sure it does have some reference uh reference especially being called kim the splatter logo um it's all right the laser cut s logo i don't know a lot of their s logos have been lacking lately i haven't really felt any of that s logos that they've done for a while the patches denim baseball jersey i think this one's cool we got some interesting patches going on i like the denim aspect of it too you have this font using bones new york supreme all these kind of interesting patches i like it this one works i really like the the red on cream looks good i think all these colorways are looking pretty good though uh moving forward we have a mitchell and ness basketball jersey which <laughs> i think we've definitely had some worse basketball jerseys in the past i think uh yeah a lot of these work the good jersey um not feeling this football jersey but you know once again better than some of, <laughs> some of the ones we've gotten in the past we have the split jersey split baseball jersey don't hate 2021 uh yeah i don't like that i don't like the colors that they combined it with another basketball jersey a lot of jerseys this season didn't like the basketball jersey uh the arabic, arabic logo soccer jersey i really like this white and blue colorway but maybe the other ones I'm not really feeling as much. Uh, warm up top, gross, skip that. Uh, paneled lawn sleeve shirt. <laughs> I'm getting like flashbacks of like early middle school when people rock this type of stuff. Uh, we have the string kind of like mesh shirt. I'm not rocking with it, boys. Uh, the Cressy Rash Guard. I guess this is maybe for cycling. I don't even know, but I don't like that material. Uh, Vampire Boy long sleeve pocket tee, pretty basic. Almost looks like a uh, uh, that one workwear one. Ben Davis almost looks like some uh, some uh, some of their designs are like their logo with that little patch kind of style. Of that patch, the skull short sleeve top. It's a cool skull, but the price is going to be stupid expensive because it's a cotton jersey. So they always overcharge for that stuff. Uh, the script tank top. I don't know. Our tank tops in still i don't know i haven't seen anybody rocking the tank top for a long time uh moving on to some of the hoodies we have this hand style hooded uh sweatshirt i think this is a cool logo i'm not sure if it's paying homage to anything almost <laughs> reminds me of like nfl street almost with that the tag style the stacked crew neck i saw some love for this one but it's just you know word soup alphabet soup it, it hurts to look at for me um everlasting hooded sweatshirt i like the wash on this i like the kind of like old almost like race car style branding they have going on in it but it, just, it might be too big <laughs> uh, i really like this black and purple and kind of like salmon colorway and then also this white one both of these colors like the colors being used on both those ones are really good i like how they blend uh we have the cause chalk logo hooded sweatshirt which i think this chalk logo has been done before i want to say i'm not sure definitely before my time for supreme but yeah, as far as the logo goes, I'm not a fan of it. It looks kind of lame. I, I really like Cause, but not feeling that. Not feeling this either, especially those colorways. Just very tacky looking Supreme spell out here. Big pass. Uh, we have a Shrovsky S logo hooded sweatshirt. Uh, pass for me. Basketball jersey, kind of like, I'm assuming this is attached to the hooded sweatshirt. Not feeling it black one was all right i guess uh the liner crew neck it's all right i like that you can that's reversible anyway uh i always respect pieces that you know give you two for the price of one the gone star hooded sweatshirt 
I think the other colorway is better, maybe. Yeah, I like this colorway a little bit more, the black one. Uh, we got the same design uh, we've seen before, pointing up at yourself. The paneled crew neck. Don't like that colorway. Don't like any of those colorways. Supreme Love hooded sweatshirt. Uh, Tayamo. My roommate, Alex. Shout out Alex. He was saying he liked this one. I think he liked was it like the black colorway or something. I don't know. Kind of cool graffiti style though, I suppose, on that one. The brush stroke hooded sweatshirt. Nah, I'm I'm not liking uh, ooh, I'm not liking those. Supreme uh, denim logo hooded. Yeah, uh, I don't know if denim, maybe like a quilted or something. Or maybe if you did that same like flower, the floral fill that we saw on those t shirts, that'd be cool. But the Gons logo, we've seen this before. Uh, embossed logo hooded sweatshirt, hard to see on that green. I think we've seen we've seen stuff like this before, but not embossed. The embossed is actually really interesting that the entire sweatshirt is embossed so it's kind of cool uh don't care hooded sweatshirt kind of got this like arch and the slime that's all right uh not feeling or i guess these you know just the small box small box hooded sweatshirts i don't know i think that's what it was called so much stuff to go over the dash wall hooded sweatshirt i don't know we covered a lot of this other stuff i don't like the Sp the spider web here this one is something I, th I thought was interesting i don't know the artist behind this but if you guys follow palace they used almost the same exact panther for a triferg two seasons ago i want to say very similar so i was wondering if it was the same artist but uh we also have this embroidered all over alphabet soup looking s logo one <laughs> man i don't know I'm, I'm not really feeling it. The the white one's kind of fun with all these multicolors or the like heather gray, I guess. But yeah, I don't know. I definitely don't like it with just the white S's. Uh, we also have this one, the hearts arc. I don't know. They're getting desperate for fills. <laughs> Purple is kind of cool, maybe. I don't know. Uh, just this big ass arc uh, box logo. I don't. Know, this looks like a bootleg, honestly. Pass for me. The vampire boy again. Kind of cool i like it more as the little patch on that long sleeve though not feeling this old english wrap we have a laser cut s big s1 which you know a lot of the times we see the s ones like that uh supreme branding on the cuffs the cropped logos they're calling it plaid crew neck i don't like yeah i don't like any of those plaid decisions the world is yours i don't like how they use the world in the spell out just kind of tacky uh the ftp arc hooded sweatshirt i've never been a fan of this spell out that supreme uses so pass for me i know it's you know got some history precision crew neck i don't like this <laughs> uh shine hooded sweatshirt this looks like it's uh paying homage to something that already exists like a pre-existing logo but i forget what it is what the reference is here small box crew neck i, I do kind of like this watercolor floral design they got going on let's see what else we got a uh, small box like zip up all right so we're getting into the pants and we've covered pretty much all the tops for the pants i'm just gonna clip click on a couple of the interesting ones because we're already over half an hour so if i didn't like the top for it because of the design i'm not gonna like the bottoms uh and you know i don't like <laughs> i don't like these ones couple things i do appreciate though i like that's a double knee pant it makes sense it's kind of cool and then i don't know it's just a big ass print which <laughs> i like some of their all over print ones but not that one uh here's a look at the pants i was talking about we we saw those vests earlier uh the pant the x-men <laughs> the x-men paneled track pant we had that track top I, I really don't like the x on the legs how it's centered maybe if it was up more on the thighs i don't know uh here's the pants i liked the top for this but just how the branding lays with it being kind of like symmetric on the sides where it's just straight down and centered i don't i don't care for that uh let's see here are the pants for the top that has the like spello that goes into it maybe people can like mix and match and pull something cool off i don't know uh we have some more double knee pants right here uh, this time corduroy I, I feel like corduroy is a bad material to go with for double knee pants because double knee kind of implies that you're going to be working if you're kneeling on corduroy it's going to get all messed up so i don't know I, I understand you know supreme fashion so you know using a different material than kind of the intended use of the original silhouette 
Uh, we have the cans regular jean, which I guess is all right. There's not really any pants that are hidden for me this season. Anything that I'm really trying to go after. So uh, we also got some shorts. A lot of these designs, once again, you've already seen. I don't think any of the shorts really stand out to me. I don't think I'm a fan of any of the shorts. So skipping over those. Uh, moving on to the t-shirts, we have the Raphael T. Oh, let me go back, my bad. So these are the seasonal tees. These are the uh, spring spring tees, I guess, not spring to summer. We'll get another batch of graphic tees for the summer, uh, whenever that drop is, like week eight or 10 or whatever. Um, but yeah, these will be dropping this Friday. I don't know if I mentioned it, but the first drop is going to be, or Thursday, my bad. It's been a long video, bear with me. <laughs> These will be dropping this Thursday, uh, February 18th at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. But yeah, you just got Raphael and then his um, blindfold, I guess, is a box logo, bandana or whatever. Kind of tacky, if you ask me. I was hoping for a little bit more. Uh, we've seen them do this like little box logo on the front before and then designs on the back. And I think this is the best of the ones that we've seen but yeah, it's, it's all right, I guess. It'll be interesting to see how the other colorways work with it. We have Prodigy, H-N-I-C-T. I don't really listen to Prodigy, but of Mob Deep. Uh, let's see, the, the Skeleton T. I thought this one was kind of cool. I like the art style that they have for this, like a skeletal Superman holding a uh, American flag, but yeah. Uh, the five boroughs T, you know, we've obviously seen this done before, but then underneath they have the names of the five boroughs. We have the ear T, which I like, I really like the artwork done for this, but I don't know if I care if, I don't know if I care if that it's an ear. I think they have the cross box logo, which is kind of cool too. We'll see an accessory that uses the same design that's a little bit cooler later. We have the water pistol T, which honestly, this water pistol T, I've seen some love for it, but it looks like a like it looks really cheap and like a bootleg almost like just the design for it but i don't know this one's kind of another fun one uh, i wonder who the artist oh artwork by sean cliver i think they've used him before too i kind of liked that drawing uh the crest t i wasn't feeling that the wind t uh i don't know not really feeling that one either Let's see, not not too bad though, as far as the designs go. So next up we have a bunch of hats and I'm really gonna fly through these because I don't think there's too much for hats going on. Uh, those second buckets that we got were kind of cool. Got some bandana ones. Yeah, I don't know, Kangle. It's cool to see the Kangle collaborations continuing. The Bermuda hat is kind of cool. Uh, let's see what else we got going on. A Old English, The Vampire Boy, Schwabski. Yeah, just a lot of the same stuff we've been seeing, but we're going to see tops or hats, caps. Uh, I'm sure we'll see some actual like baseball caps, camp caps, those type of caps for them as well. So moving forward through all this, uh, I'll just stop if I see one that I do like. Otherwise, you guys can, uh, you know, determine that I don't really care for it. And when, when you rock in a dome this big, I know I don't have the face cam on, but if you guys are familiar with the channel and what I look like, I got a big head. So it's hard for a lot of caps to fit me, except for trucker caps. But even the Supreme trucker caps aren't that forgiving, but I do like these. It's like a hot dog or something going on, like some baseball themed one. I really don't like all the years going on in the back. That's, that's too much, man. That is too much. Let's see what else we got. We should have another entire set of caps to go through, I think. I don't know. We're skipping it. I don't care. There's there's nothing else that's like really that great. Uh, getting into the bags or the backpacks. Kind of interesting camo. I've never been a fan of this colorway for the camo, like the urban camo. Not really digging the backpack either this season. A little too, um, I don't know too com complex for me. Uh, I guess as far as backpacks go, I don't really need something that's kind of crazy. Uh, the duffel bag, that's all right. I don't know, I don't have any use for a duffel bag or a zip tote. So these are all passes for me, but I can respect them on you know some level. Uh, the sling bag, which I think is kind of a cool silhouette. I like the sling aspect of it more than the waist bags, which we have right here. We have a neck pouch as well, which uh, kind of bland. The banana, <laughs> the bandana tarp large duffel bag. So they've been doing this last couple seasons. Usually 
or they used to just do like one set of bags, but uh, they've been ramping it up lately. So we got, you know, just a ton of different bags. Uh, I think last season they did two different sets and then like a couple kind of custom ones. But yeah, I don't know. None of, none, of the, none of the bags are really like hidden for me. And then we're getting a restock of the canvas backpacks as well. So that's what it's looking like for the bags. Kind of, you know, underwhelming for me at least. And then jumping into the accessories, we start off with this crazy Supreme Sea Dew. So they're making a jet ski and i think <laughs> i mean this is just wild but it's cool i like it um first thing that comes to mind as like a comparable accessory is the dirt bike that we got a while ago um so let's see what else we got going on we got the mini refrigerator we have a hand painted bowery large plate fridge is kind of cool i guess the the plate kind of a pass i really like this chair but i know it's gonna be dumb expensive so it's a pass, but I do really like the style of it. I like the branding on it. You know, it's just red says Supreme, which is like a lot of their accessories. But uh, we also have this world famous champion ring, which I think is kind of a, a cool play on like maybe a Super Bowl ring or something. I got the Wheaties. I don't really care for the, the camo boxes that they use. Um, we have this MPC Live 2 sampler drum machine controller. I think this is like a loop station kind of. Maybe I don't know. I have I have no no expertise in that area. A um, bunch of spray paint, I believe, which is kind of cool. Uh, Cumble Cumbaloose table. I don't know. It looks cool. Uh, very small though. <laughs> oh, table lamp. All right, it's a lamp. So four by four by or you know whatever. Basically four by four by four. We also have these uh, reusable cameras, which I think are cool cool little accessories we got some more of this kind of like china wear almost i forget the name for that uh that type of stuff where it's like the blue and the white uh moving forward we have the chrome maplewood baseball bat which looks super nice i like how they have all the years lined up right here too but yeah this looks cool rollins baseball bat uh the, the nerf rival takedown blaster which i think is dope i really like the colorways that they chose for them too the blue and then the, the pink i do think it would have been cool to have a red one or maybe like an orange one just because you know it's a supreme accessory but um I, I think these look dope oh man all right let me uh let me turn that off quick I don't know why I don't know why I'm going. all right and we're back and we got a pillow blanket set kind of whack this is the same thing going on with that like tiny box logo makeup stuff i do like this the lounge chair uh, I'm, I'm a fan of the kind of straps being branded. I liked the backpacks that they did with the same kind of styled straps that, um, like two years ago or so. We have a kite, kind of interesting, a bodyboard, some bottles, a bike lock. What is this? Pocket drive pro bike pump. So you got a bike pump, a marathon clock. I think the clock's cool. Uh, frisbee, could care less about this. The dice, a aluminum aluminum dice set very cool very cool uh some <clears throat> some umbrellas all right got a leatherman they've done leathermans before too i think that's just a different style one iphone case which is better than the the iphone cases they did before i thought those were super tacky uh, patchwork ranger belt beach towel the uh, special hand stuff they're doing this season is just purple. So we have the purple tees. And then I do like these. I like these purple boxer briefs. Kind of reminds me of some golf weighing stuff. So hopefully I can get a pack of these. Uh, uh, throw them in the rotation. But I don't like the purple socks. The, the red line on the toes ruins it for me. Uh, we got the AF1s coming back. Uh, black and white. I know there were some leaks about like a wheat colorway coming in. But not seeing that. Got a pin. This is the ear. <clears throat> so this is the ear that we saw before. And I, I like this ear keychain. Made of silicone and uh, it's got a molded logo. And then we do have a Supreme Cross, but it's not the Cross Box logo, which I think would have been cool to use, especially since they just did the Cross Box logo. So missed opportunity, but I think I think this looks cool as an accessory. Uh, moving forward, got the Panther keychain, more keychains, some pins more pins and then the decks uh so yeah 
I don't know. I've seen a lot of hate for this season, like I brought up in the beginning of the video, and I can kind of get behind it. There's a lot of a lot of misses this season. Not a whole lot going on. Not definitely not many pieces that I have on like my list of stuff I want to pick up. You know, I I think this is probably the oh man. Do I want to say this is like the worst season? since I've been following Supreme, it definitely has the lowest amount of pieces that I care about. So maybe it is. I don't know. This is I agree, this the season is missing for a lot. Hopefully the hopefully the collaboration <clears throat> hopefully the collaborations can save it though. We'll have to see how collaborations turn out. I, I usually think they kind of make or break a season because you know they are a large portion of everything and there's they're the surprises so it adds kind of like a fun aspect to it when they get a surprising collab that you're excited about so hopefully that pans out but let me know what you guys think of the season in the comments down below is there anything you're watching for once again week one will be dropping this week allegedly in store and online that's what they did last season which i think was the first season usually they stagger it a little bit so it'd be in store then the following week would be online but allegedly they're doing both uh this thursday again so keep an eye out for that as always, thank you for watching, and I will catch you in the next video.